What am I? I am God's son, complete and healed and whole, shining in the reflection of his love. In me is his creation sanctified and guaranteed eternal life. In me is his love perfected, fear impossible, and joy established without opposite. I am the holy home of God himself. I am the heaven where his love resides. I am his holy sinlessness itself, where in my purity abides his own. Our use for words is almost over now. Yet in the final days of this one year we gave to God together, you and I, we found a single purpose that we shared. And thus you joined with me. So what I am, you are as well. The truth of what we are is not for words to speak or describe. Yet we can realize our function here, and our words can speak of this and teach it too, if we exemplify the words within us. We are the bringers of salvation. We accept our part as saviors of the world, which through our joint forgiveness is redeemed. And this, our gift, is therefore given us. We look on everyone as brother and perceive all things as kindly and as good. We do not seek a function that is past the gate of heaven. Knowledge will return when we have done our part. We are concerned only with giving welcome to the truth. Ours are the eyes through which Christ's vision sees a world redeemed from every thought of sin. Ours are the ears that hear the voice of God, proclaim the world is sinless. Ours the minds that join together as we bless the world. And from our oneness that we have attained, we call to all our brothers, asking them to share our peace and consummate our joy. We are the holy messengers of God who speak for him and carry his word to everyone whom he has sent to us and learn that it is written on our hearts. And thus our minds are changed about the aim for which we came and which we seek to serve. We bring glad tidings to the Son of God who thought he suffered. Now is he redeemed. And as he sees the gate of heaven stand open before him, you will enter it and disappear into the heart of God. Lesson 351. My sinless brother is my guide to peace. My sinful brother is my guide to pain. And which I choose to see, I will behold. Who is my brother but your holy son? And if I see him sinful, I proclaim myself a sinner, not a son of God alone and friendless in a fearful world. Yet this perception is a choice I make and can relinquish. I can also see my brother's sinlessness as your holy son. And with this choice, I see my sinlessness, my everlasting comforter and friend beside me and my way secure and clear. Choose then for me, Father, through your voice, for he alone gives judgment in your name. Or just Miss Magdalene I can feel her coming in. Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, each of us are responsible for the way in which our brothers and our sisters interact and relate to us. When we look upon another and we say, I judge you as being full of sin, you are saying the wrong things, you are doing the wrong things, you are not behaving the way I want you to, the way that I need you to. This judgment is cast upon another from a mind that is filled with egoic thoughts and therefore egoic ramifications because we are asking them to conform to the way that we believe that they should be. The point that is being missed, brothers and sisters, is that 
we have created them to be as they are based on our own judgments. And just as readily as we're willing to see what is sinful within them, we have the same capacity to see their sinlessness, to see their innocence, to see their love. We have the capacity within us to design each and every moment of what we consider to be our creation of existence by allowing us to look through the eyes of innocence and say, is it possible do I, that I do not know who you actually are? Is it possible that I have cast judgments and aspersions upon you that have caused you to be the way that you are and the way that you interact with me? Is it possible that you are more beyond the classification that I have assigned to you? You are the one that I do not like. You are the one that I cannot accept. And all of this, beloveds, is an outward projection of how we ultimately feel about ourselves. When you have walked the path that I have, studied as I have, come to accept much, you will see that at each and every moment you are indeed designing the very existence that you experience. Now the beauty of this statement, beloveds, is that each of us have within us the wherewithal, the ability to exert free will which will allow us to make a choice other than that which we have chosen by default. One incident, one experience will remind us and trigger us into a memory of the past. And then we are no longer in the present, but we have brought all of this information from the past into the present. And we have said this person is like everyone who has come before them. This circumstance is like every other circumstance that I have ever experienced that is like this before. Hmm. And you allow yourself, beloveds, to be on a hamster wheel of repetition. You can stop the motion. You can stop the spinning. You can step off the wheel and you can become present at the moment. It says that only love is real. And if love is what is present, if love is what is viable, if love is what is here and now, how could I see this differently? Maybe they are not the way that I have always perceived them to be. Maybe I am not the way that I have always perceived myself to be. But if I could allow myself, beloved, to see through God's eyes, to hear with God's ears, to love from the heart of God, to be able to say, behold, Christ the being within me. Behold, the Christ the being that I see as my projection out onto the world. We have asked you, beloveds, to lend yourself to five minutes, being immersed within beingness, the very essence of what it is to be a Christ of being. It is funding a reservoir for you, if you will, that you can touch upon for the other 23 hours and 55 minutes of the day when you know that you can tap into at any moment this luxurious reservoir of Christ of beingness, where it extends far and deep and wide. You, knew, you need only touch it, beloveds, for just what is minutes of your time to be reminded. And then you can allow yourself to go on with your day, knowing that you have indeed touched the very essence of source. You have indeed spent time within the light. And then there is a transformation that occurs that not only do you perceive existence from this frequency, but it actually becomes what it is that you emit to others. You emit an essence of God's love. You emit an essence of God's light. For that is indeed the very fabric of you, of me, and of all of us. So with my blessings, beloved ones, I wish you the most conscious and existent day and evening. And I shall speak with you again. Blessings upon you all. Ooh.
Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow.